about how to build sustainable relationships. Well, friendships more specifically because mm-hmm. we're girls and we're besties. Um, and we've been knowing each other for a very, 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 very long time. We've been knowing Jasmine since she's been to get it oh, <laughs> in junior high, I mean in middle school. Oh, wow. And if you didn't know, we are all teammates. Deborah was the manager. We were all teammates since junior high East, so we've been knowing each other forever. But the thing is, which y'all don't know, is we weren't even like for real friends. <laughs> we weren't until like our the last end year of high school. school. The end, like we were all in different types of groups, but that's just how Babies. Yeah, they were part of this group called the BABs. <laughs> and it stands for Bad ABs. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. In junior high I was dead. Tierney, Tierney, like, if you ever been with a I don't think Tierney would have been Oh, I just feel us. like she would have been part of that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look up. We oh. part of But anyway, yeah, we didn't start being, like, besties uh, until, like, the end of... I don't even remember this. We were, me and Jasmine were right together. We were carpool with each other's day, parents. But I still was not your friend, for real. Yeah, we was just our friends. But anyways, so we're going to talk about how to build sustainable... Relationships. Yeah. Awesome. No, she was not a party. <laughs> <laughs> That's because she was. Um, what middle school did she even go to? Oh no, you was at South. You was at Junior High South. I'm Tierney. glad I just continued before we got to high school. But <laughs> had you been in Junior High East, you, you would have been a part yeah. of it. Shout out to Brianna Irvin. Yes, we was in Brianna. that thing. <laughs> So, guys, I just want to ask y'all a question first, and y'all can answer in the comments below. What do y'all believe builds... <laughs> Nicole? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we get there. Well, what is friendship to you? There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm. You always got to start it off. <laughs> right? Wrong like that. <laughs> Who wants to take a stab at it first? What is friendship? I believe friendship is a life force. It's mm. literally... I remember watching a video, I think it was last week, about, um, you know, like, um, struggling with depression and addiction, and they said Mm -hmm. a huge reason or a huge cure for those two things were building sustainable relationships. So, I really believe that friendship is your life source, and plus y'all are, like, (laughs) my life source. Right, right. Hey, Steven! Uh, Hey! Hey! Steven? Yes. Our fellow dancer? Yes. (laughs) Yes. Um... Friendships to me is so, I didn't realize how important it was. Like, I know it's important, but it's just like, I don't know where I would be without you guys because if I need any advice, I'm calling one of, one of y'all. Mm-hmm. Or even with, like, our business, I wouldn't even know what I'd be doing for real with my life Same. if if I didn't have Inspire Fire. Or, or so... I don't know. I think friendships are so important because they kind they mold your life. They mold yeah, who you are. You saw yeah. the words out of my mouth. I would say, yeah, there's a glue that kind of holds you together. Yeah, you, know, like you have different people that you kind of lean on and need for different things. Right. So, and yeah. the good thing about it is, like, uh, as opposed for to like a relationship where you can only have one boyfriend, <laughs> you can have as many friends as you want. But just like that boyfriend or husband, that is. It's important if it's like a relationship. It's important that there are many good aspects to it. It has to be positive. It's right. very important who you surround yourself with. But we'll get into very, that later. But um, very yes. So same with what you guys said. It's like a life force. I really find that friendships are things that help you navigate through life. Yeah. So definitely, I would say, oh, they're so important. You have every stage of your life. You find a different friendship or a different person that comes along the journey and makes things a whole lot easier just to help you get over that hump whether it be cur- encouragement honesty just teaching you different things but I'm sure we'll get a, in a, a little deeper into that later on so I'm right. y'all all the tea so <laughs> as y'all go through as y'all listen to this podcast really think about who your friends are and who you would like your friends to be mm-hmm. really think about the people as we're going through all these different scenarios think about the people that are in your life and maybe you need to make a decision whether they need to remain there or if you need more of them or less of them that's true. So, Kobe hooked us up with these 10 laws <laughs> of friendship. Oh, actually, it's for all relationships, but yes. we're going to talk about friendship because we know how very important it is mm-hmm. in your life. Oh, my God. Yes. So important. <laughs> um, yeah. And I want to say something. I don't know. I, just, I don't know. Like, in, in college, I didn't have that many friends. I had... 
don't want to like be like we had two, but I mean, <laughs> there was two that really stick out to me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to say first off, it's okay if you don't have like a thousand gazillion friends, because I know in college a lot of times I would feel lonely, like. I did a lot of things by myself, mm-hmm. um, but in hindsight, I left with two, I, I left with more really good friends, but two in particular that really have has had a huge impact in my life, and then y'all, I just told y'all the other day, I ain't got no other friends. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> but, um, I do, but... Not like y'all. Um, yes. So anyways, so let's dive into the first law. And number one is you got to be you. So how do y'all yeah. take that? Mm, you got to be real. Have to. Yeah. Honest. Yeah. What I took it as was, I know, in, um, you know, like you think in college or in high school, a lot of times we try to fit into mm-hmm. who the cool people are or um, oh, I want to be a part of the basketball team or I want to be a part of this group. I want to be a part of that group. And then you start shaping yourself and molding yourself to be mm-hmm. that way when it's not really you. Right. Yeah. So you want to know, you want to be comfortable with yourself or really just be yourself because you're going to attract those people to you that are going to love you for who you are. Because exactly. if you're going to be somebody else, if I was trying to be a part of BAB. <laughs> <laughs> this girl you really hate that baby. She was too She was too She was too She was too She was 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 was She 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 was Trying to be that, I probably I don't know how my it life would have been. It would definitely be different. Mm-hmm. And I, oh, no, go for it. Well, I was just gonna. I was thinking about when I first met all of you guys. Um, I had to be me. So I moved here. <laughs> literally, I had to. I, <laughs> I had to be me. Oh so um, when I moved here to, I came to the United States like in like about fifteen, maybe sixteen years ago. And I remember being so shy and so insecure, and I didn't know who to be. Like you said, like you know, you came, you, you're in a new surrounding, especially in high school where you have cliques like people were like uh, the athletes or the jocks mm-hmm. or whatever and you had like the cheerleaders and the dancers and I was really awkward I had a weird laugh I was so insecure <laughs> I was super nerdy <laughs> I don't remember coach making you get in front of the like that I remember that's the first time I met them I was like you guys are doing a show like coach go ahead you keep watching watch you do that coach go ahead to be different coach go ahead everyone I was so embarrassed you know but (laughs) it was quite embarrassing but um along the way I remember like the first few years I was super quiet I was actually friends with Tiffany's mom (laughs) before I was was friends with my mom (laughs) friends with her mom you know but something happened like I and when I started like eating lunch with you guys and I realized you guys are kind of like normal like you were were weird you were weird too yeah we're weird weird too and I was like oh my god you're weird yes (laughs) Yes. and I just like full-on like just let myself loose. <laughs> like, oh my God. Loose. loose. And I feel like that is so important because if I had hidden who I was at that time, I probably would have never known who they were because it would have never been open enough to be as weird and true as they are because nobody wants to be the same. You want to be original, and every single one of us ladies here are, have like very distinct personalities, amazing creative personalities. And I think we work so well because we are all we're, we're ourselves. We're just yeah. so unique, and we embrace that. Yes, yes, I completely agree. <laughs> and I think it goes back this weekend when we were with uh, your, we had brunch with Morgan. Oh, and yay. she was saying like, um, you just got to get out and you just got to live life. If you like to travel all around the world, you need to just travel all around the world. If you want to be in a fashion design and you want to be a cosmetologist, whatever it is you want to do, when you're along that have been doing whatever you who, being who you are wholeheartedly you're gonna attract those people kind of what Tiffany just said a second ago as well like you're just gonna attract whoever you are so if you think and Tiffany actually said the other day like why are my friends so amazing and I was like because you're so amazing and you attract whoever you are so if you feel like you have messy friends and all they do is give you what headaches you doing? and you have backstabbers <laughs> it's like and I know it's like a hard pill to swallow because you never really want to look at yourself and say I'm a terrible person yeah. and I'm not saying that you are a terrible person maybe you're just unaware and so like you just really may have to self-evaluate and see like 
What are the loose ends in my life that I need to tie up so I can stop attracting people that I don't genuinely want to be around? Yeah. Shout out to all guys. That's yes. 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 And yeah, no, that's true. Because yeah. I think back to college and I think I had my my real friends mm-hmm. and then like my party friends, right. <laughs> my work friends. So. Right. And I think, just, yeah, yeah, you're right. I think you don't even have to work that hard if, like you said, if you're just being yourself, mm-hmm. if you got to be you, mm-hmm. I mean, you're going to attract that. Yeah. And it's, it's a natural You don't want to put up a, a facade for so long. Oh, too. no. And you, it's tiring. Right. Yes. It's so exhausting. Like, I remember when I would try to fit into whatever person I thought I wanted to be friends with. And I remember having different friends that were... <laughs> it just wasn't me. It wasn't my style. Like it, it just didn't work out. And I remember we didn't stay friends long, not because we didn't like each other, but it was just unnatural. We didn't blend. It felt like we had to force the friendship mm. at some point. But with them, we just Click. flow. Click. We can like go forever and just no. be quiet, and it just right. It's I wasn't even talking to you for like <laughs> half of the driveway. Right. <laughs> not the drive here, but. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, true, time. but we're like chilly. We're having a great time. <laughs> number two, law number two. Healthy relationships must be a win-win. I really like this one. Yes. And it yes. was it's so it's easily happened with us. I I haven't I didn't even realize that we are a win-win relationship. I'm in a relationship with you guys. Oh, <laughs> um, but what that basically means is it has to be a give-give relationship. You can't be constantly being the one that's constantly giving yourself out, giving advice, mm-hmm. being there for them, and that's nothing's coming back to you. Right. Yeah. So if I'm calling Deborah on the phone every single day, talking about I'm depressed, I'm hurt, he did this, she did that, and then I, um, on the other hand, she couldn't, if she calls me and I'm like, um, um, okay, well, can we talk about this later? That is not right. a human relationship. That's a take-take relationship. <laughs> and those types of relationships don't work in any type. Friendships, exactly. um, um, work, yeah, work, anything, anything no. like that. But I can honestly say that even without knowing, is they give me so much, whether it be knowledge, advice, just being positivity into my mm-hmm. life, mm-hmm. even their actions give into my life and make it better. So, are you giving in your friendships? Are what are you giving in your yeah. friendships? That's what I want, you should ask yourself. Yes, and I like that you said that because that's extremely important. And a lot of people, we try to get relation, get into friendships or relationships, mo- most more so friendships, and we want all our friends to be our best friend or all our friends to have every single thing that this person have. And it's like, wait a minute, this person may be in your life to help you financially, or mm-hmm. this person may be in your life to help you spiritually and grow along your spiritual journey this person may be in your life for um academics helping you get straight a's in schools it's just a number (laughs) of things like this person uh different friends or maybe your social life is a little dead you need a work-life balance you need to be (laughs) on the weekends maybe this person can help you get out and help get out more (laughs) yeah call me as a bad one like i need my get out time and you know i can't just be crushed in the house all day and then on the opportunity i need my alone time it's all about balance guys so you may just need to have a section of group of friends that you do different things with yeah and you don't i'm going back to like how relation healthy relationships should be a Mm win-win um i think that you can't just don't go in the mentality like oh i want to be your friend because of what you can give to me right don't like you know because when people think about win-win they're like well like in their head it's like win-win like both wins for me, you know? Okay. Yeah, like, it's just for mm-hmm. me, but you want to, like, you want to make sure, like, whatever relationships that you're having or you're creating, that they're very, very authentic and very natural. Mm-hmm. There's nothing more um, disheartening or um, hurting, or hurtful for both parties to have a relationship where you're only just there to just get whatever you can, or you're just scouting people just because of what they can get, give to you. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, that's and to, important. I completely agree with that and it's like if you think about back to whatever you are you attract so if you only trying to take out a relationship yeah. you're going to find yourself being screwed over a lot like yeah. like why is person <laughs> keep doing this doing me dirty doing me it's like because you're going in the mindset oh uh, i gotta get mine so mm-hmm. people are going to come to you with that same energy i gotta get mine out of you so you definitely gotta keep a heads up and not go into what you can get out of it i like that you gotta go into relationships what can you give to it right yeah yeah so think about it. What are you giving? Are you gossiping all the time? Are, are you, you <laughs> bringing people down? Are you dragging them with your own problems? <laughs> like, what are you giving? 
to this friendship or you know relationship. Yeah. When was the last time have you called and checked on your friends? Right. That's true. That's a real one. Right. Ask them how their day was. Right. Mm-hmm. And I like another. That's real. Because I remember Tiffany last, maybe two months ago. I can't remember. Sometime earlier this year. I remember it was like a really powerful thing that she told me. She was like, instead of me tithing all my money to the church, not saying that she wasn't tied anymore, she was like, I'm going to tie some of my money into my friends. I'm going to invest in them because she was like, that's also a form of tithing. And I was just like, girl, you real. Like, right, because I, uh, I know I'm going on a tangent, but like even with your family and friends, like they need help. And why don't yeah. you be that help for them if, if you, you can? can right. You know what I'm saying? Instead of you don't know where your money is going, but that's all that. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'd rather help my friends out because I know what they're going through. You know what I mean? Yeah. She is but, real. Um, yeah. Another thing, this is not <laughs> this is not a part of the um, the thingy. But my mom once told me a long time ago. She was like, Tiffany, you can have more than one best friend. And you know, a lot of people. I see a lot of people like posting that stuff. Like, if somebody else calls my best friend, best friend, <laughs> we, we fight and stuff like that. Oh, you can't be cheating on me, best friend. <laughs> But I really feel like, I think a real friendship, like, it's no ties like that. It's mm-hmm. like, we're not dating. You know what I mean? So I was wondering, like, I don't think people should be so attached to their best friends mm-hmm. like that. Like, you can have more than one best friend. You can have different types of best friends. You have a church best yeah. friend. You have work best friend. You have yeah. best friend, best friend. And yeah. And going with what you said yeah. and what Jasmine said, like, different people are in your life for mm-hmm. very different reasons. You know, and I've always right. been that person that's always had many best friends, right, right, right. you know, yeah. just because, like, you meet people and you click, you, you do, do right, yes. it's just natural, and God has a way of literally placing people in your life, like, I never one day woke up and thought, oh, I'm gonna, <laughs> like, these are gonna be my best friends, slash right. travel partners, slash slayers, slash business partners, right. whatever, like, right. I didn't plan that, right. <laughs> you know, but God, like, you know, divinely put that relationship, and he put other relationships, too, you know, mm-hmm. in my life to where, I can't say no, I can't be best friends with this person too because I right. have my girls. I mean, I have my girls, but you can also but have other people too. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Like, you we're dynamic. Be, we're all dynamic there's people. There's abundance out there. You know? Yeah. Like everybody mm-hmm. is enough yeah. everybody. Mm-hmm. We can all be friends. Yeah. Right. And there's enough love because I think like with that, there's that like, um, and I think we're going to get to it at the mm-hmm. last, at the end, you know, to yeah. that deep issue. But I think a lot of times where people, especially like, you know, um, have that very intense tie to this one best friend, like right. you're like, you're my I ride or my die, you know, it's because um, there's that fear, like, you know, that fear of, like, if this person loves a, another person, you know, they're not going to give me the same attention, the same love, the same affection, they're going to forget about me, right. you know, and I think that's the issue of yeah. not wanting your best friend to have other best friends, you right, know? and that's just living out of lack, that's thoughtful, yeah, that's thinking out of lack, and you know, we can't do that, we yeah, think abundance, abundance. Right. yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, you can have as many friends as you want, because I know a lot of people get real clickish and stuff like that, yeah. mm-hmm. but that's something we need to leave in, like, Right, no. like, what is the <laughs> why, did, no. why did that even exist? We right. should all be floaters. I would be right. floater. Like, same. Right? Like, same. Everybody. But I say this to say because people, like, there have been friends who tell me, like, oh, what, why are you hanging out with them? You're not hanging out with me. You're leaving me out. You're da, 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 da. Like, Girl. I could only, like, I, you know what I'm saying? There's <laughs> nothing mom. against you. It's just, like, friends to do this with, friends to do that with. It's just, like, we have to leave all that yeah. jealousy and craziness behind because it's just like friends should only bring value to your life they should be your escape always yeah, yeah you exactly. should not be having problematic <laughs> right that is not a friendship that's a toxic we need to mm. cut it cut, cut it. it cut it cut it bring us to our <laughs> next one you cannot be friends with everyone you gotta cut it cut it all right, so <laughs> that, cannot be friends with everyone. That's so, true. what exactly do that does that mean? Let's elaborate for them. <laughs> okay, I'll see. Okay, she says elaborate on that. Let's elaborate. So, oh, okay, 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 yeah. In my opinion, or what I feel it to be true, and what along my journey of life, I think you have to cut a friendship off when it's becoming toxic to your life, when it's bringing more disempowering situations than <laughs> empowering situations when you're you're receiving a headache from your best friend 
That's like, like it's your boyfriend, <laughs> even though you don't even want no boy headache from your boyfriend, but it's like if your best friend is giving you headaches when they're supposed to be your best friend and it's going on, because no one's perfect. Of course, you're going to have those little moments where y'all don't understand one another. That's just human nature. But if your best friend, of course, if they betray you in a way that's like, sleep with your boyfriend. I hear people with best friends do that. My best friend never did that. Hell ever. no. <laughs> Hell no. I ain't even sleeping at all. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, <laughs> stuff like, like that. <laughs> or, like, just, like, the ultimate betrayal. You have barriers in your, like, you already, like, these are my do not cross, like, red zone. If they cross that red zone, then you already know that's not your best friend because they would love you and respect you enough to not even want to put you through that type of pain if they were truly your best friend. Mm -hmm. It's like, would your mother do something out of the world to you or your father? Well, some people's parents would, but you know, just on a, a someone that really, truly, genuinely cares about you, if they do something like that line of betrayal and constantly do, do it, then they're not your best friend. I think that's when you have to cut it off. Yeah. Well, I think stinky, I mean, a lot of people just, I don't know, I, you know that one guy in college or at church that is just friends with everybody. And maybe it's just something that they have to keep up like as a reputation. A rep, a rep, Reputation. Reputation. I feel like you're, actually, I feel like you're friends with everybody, to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to talk a little bit about yeah. that. Yeah. But I think you do really have to be protective about who you allow into your life. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and there's just not that much time in the day to just be friends with everybody. everybody. And I don't think that you really should try to make the, an effort to try to be friends with everybody. I think you should be cordial and nice to everyone mm -hmm. and be yourself and stuff like that. But you do have to be protective of who you bring into your life because, like we said earlier, these people, friends, form you and they shape your life. Like, they'll give you advice. You'll, you will you see what they're doing and you want to try to emulate that because, you know, they pop in. If your friends are popping. <laughs> or if they're doing something negative, they're over here doing drugs all day, hoeing around. Like, that's, I mean, for real, uh, uh, you know, hoe is contagious. <laughs> It is. I'm just saying. It's contagious. <laughs> people do rub off on you. No, yes. you, you do. do. Like, and it's, it's also like a spiritual thing. Like, hey. even with that, with being protective of your own space. And Tiff mentioned yeah. it. So, I am friends with a lot of people. <laughs> and I use the term friends very loosely. I'm very loving. I appreciate diversity. So, I'm the kind of person that will just go and talk to you to love on you because mm -hmm. I love Jesus. And that's what I like. That's what he inspires me to do. Right. However, when it comes to my circle and my very, very personal friends, it's very, very tight, very, very small. And it's because, one, like, you get exhausted when you're trying to be friends with everyone. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between, like, loving on people and trying to be a best friend to every single person. You can't yeah. really that. That's know? real. Because people call my baggage. Like, I know, like, these are my mm -hmm. girls, and whatever we go through, we go through it together. Yeah. If one person is hurting, we're going through it together. But it, it stays here, if that makes sense. Versus mm -hmm. me trying to be the savior or whatever. That, see, I think it's like that stage your mentality, like, oh, I want to go help this person. I want to go do right. this. And they start taking on more than you're right. supposed to take, you know. So I think you have to be extremely, extremely cautious about your circle. Like, I've had to cut friends who were loving to me or distance myself a little bit or change the status of our friendship from best friends to acquaintance or whatever. Just mm -hmm. And not because I don't like them or because, you know, I don't want to be friends with them, but because there's that spiritual sh um, shift, you know, in our relationship to where, like you said, like, if you have friends who are like you know doing things that you're not you have no business doing right. like i don't do drugs like you know we don't like you know what i mean like we're not spending time like smoking and drinking <laughs> right. and twerking all day and you know like wait, we're but um but we're not spending time like you know we're we're we focus on productivity and creativity and that's loving, true. you know, yeah. and that's like a huge, um, that's a big thing in like manifestation. Like, you know, like whoever you're with, that's where you begin to manifest. Like if you're, about, if you're around people, if you're trying to work out or be healthier and around people who eat fast food all day, guess what? You're going to eat fast food all day. If you're trying not to maybe like, you know, um, I guess I quit drinking or smoking or whatever, and you're hanging out with people who are doing that every single day. Guess what? You're never going to move. You're going to be in the same spot. Right. So in order for you to have that healthy relationship, you have to be willing to get up and move out. Like, you know, even if it means you detaching yourself from everything that you're used to, you know, um, you just have to get out of that circle because and everybody just can't be your friend. Right. It's, it's and I think to elaborate with what you ladies were just saying, once you know who you are, the very first thing, know yourself, mm -hmm. is it what you got, mm -hmm. you got to be you. you. When you be you and understand exactly what you want, 
you will align yourself with people that has similarities or compatible with the things that you want in life. So you guys will help, it will help you climb up the ladder instead of take you off your track. Right. And I think I was telling y'all that uh, earlier on this road trip, like you have to really pay attention to what people bring out of you. It's like you were saying, mm-hmm. somebody's eating unhealthy all the time. You find yourself eating a Kit Kat bar, <laughs> like, like, oh, this might be, but, or you can find yourself cussing a lot. I kind of do that, but, but like, but cussing a, or yeah, you're right, working on that, <laughs> cussing a lot, or doing stuff that's out of your character. You really have to pay attention, like, I don't like this out of me, and why am I doing this so much? Oh, ooh, okay, maybe I need to distance myself from that person. Right. And it's okay not to be friends with everyone, like, yeah. it's your life. So, or even just limit the friendship. Right. right. You know, be selective. Yeah, be selective yeah. about who you're in like your know, circle. <laughs> I agree. Yes. Okay. 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 Oh, good. this basically says the same thing. It just says everything, everybody has to give, unless I'm reading that wrong. Everybody has to give. Yeah. Like we said, win win relationship. Everyone has to give. And I think something that y'all give me more than anything is basically positivity like mm-hmm. I could tell I could see myself getting sad Ooh, we went to, like we celebrated her birthday over the weekend I saw myself getting sad I was just thinking about all this stupid stuff because the moon you know we're dropping that energy and stuff <laughs> but I was getting sad but their positive energy wouldn't allow me to stay there right I went to the restroom got myself all nice and fixed up and came back to all this positive energy so and they're constantly uplifting me like we are very with our words we're very like hey girl you look good yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're supporting yeah. it's yeah. never like mm, what you wearing like there's mm. none of that never. so it's like get you some friends that will give and in return we do that to each other we're yeah. always we're like always uplifting giving. each other so yeah. are you giving or are you the one over there talking about mm, why are you wearing them shoes why your head like that right <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah and even yeah. like going back to it everybody has to give i think about flexibility like you have to be willing to bend over backwards literally get and do some yoga <laughs> for your friends you know and it's so That's important true. because like there's sometimes when tip will call me and i'll be like maybe working on stuff but she's my friend and i know like and you, and you sense it in your heart when you need to talk to your friends. So I think mm-hmm. when we talk to each other, or if we miss their turn, call we call each other back. And we're like, hey, what's up? What's going on? I support you, and we'll randomly drop like you know love bombs. Every, like I feel like on the daily, I'm not with you. Like I live in San Marcos, <laughs> yeah. like two hours away, and that's why I'm never you know always here. But yeah. I feel their spirit with me every single day. I feel like they're just there because of that's how intense the bond is because they're always constantly giving and when you're giving there's there's always abundance there's never lack yeah. you know there's never always let me save some for me there's yeah. never that like we're just so like loving and free and there's just something enriching about you know just giving freely in a relationship and not having to think about oh is she going to do this or is she going to say this or is right. she going to yeah. come back like you know like it's just like amazing yeah amazing amazing like I was so, like give I like, I'm gonna like shout you out, but like, <laughs> I don't know if you'd be embarrassed. What? I'm scared. No, don't be scared. Okay, so I've been going through life, right? Like, <laughs> literally, like, going through life. And Tiffany and all my friends, like, these girls here literally bent over backwards and poured into my life. Like, I remember crying that whole day. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but that's the kind of friendship that you want is when you're at rock bottom and you have nothing. And you know, there's no shame, there's no insecurity. You can just be who you are and know that your friends are there to give. And the reason why they were able to give so freely is because for years we've I've given it to them freely. Yeah. You know, I've oh, loved yeah. them freely. I pray, yeah. I pray for y'all every y'all know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I pray for them in my morning devotion every day. Like you know, and that's like the kind of friendship that you want, where you're giving without wanting or without thinking you're gonna pay me back. You're gonna have, you know, you're gonna do this. No, I give because I love them enough today, and mm-hmm. tomorrow I'm gonna give them again because there's new love tomorrow. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, girl, that's beautiful. That's, <laughs> that's so true. Because like, you want to give to your friends. It's like, mm-hmm. it's like Deborah has given me so much, <laughs> so much positivity, so much. I mean, y'all really changed my life. Like, even when it comes to Jesus and reintroducing me to Christ. I'm still eating. Oh, don't cry. I love you. <laughs> but it's so, so easy to 
get back. Because people are getting to you. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, that is so beautiful. I love you. But definitely, <laughs> I can completely agree with that. So, like we said, you sh- if if that's how you can almost determine a relationship. You if you want to give to that person, then you know that's the relationship you want to be involved in. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. If it's a drag, if it's you just doing this because mm-hmm. you think they're gonna be mad at you, then that's not that's a genuine not. relationship. Or if you're like waiting for, I hope they got they got me this time. No, right. yeah, like no. never. <laughs> what is that? I don't. I don't think there's ever been any moment in a relationship. Like we've been friends for forever, yeah, <laughs> and I don't remember like any time where like we're like, hey, like you didn't give me this, or remember that one time I told you this? Like yeah. no, we never. Like every day is literally a new day for new love. Like right. there's never like any grudge. Like we don't hold grudges. What are grudges? What are those? What is that? Like what are those? I don't even know what right. that is. And, like in any any relationship, you don't want to keep tally of I did this, you did yeah. this, I did that, I did because it's it's you're supposed to give from your heart in any in anything. Mm-hmm. So just give like love, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's hard for you to give, maybe you just don't need to be friends with that person. Maybe right. yeah. yeah. You're just that high. You in the dollar or something. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Um. <laughs> what's the what you don't know um, will can hurt you. Yeah, what you don't know can hurt you. Yeah. What do y'all think that is? You secret. can't have any secrets. That's yeah. a big lie. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is a friend if you can't, you know, tell them your secrets and tell them about your past and get deep and honest with them and be real with them, you know? Mm-hmm. Right. Right. I think, like, facing things head on. Um, I know, like, I have some friends that find it really difficult to talk have real conversations about real things you know because they're like oh I don't want to tell this person but then that hurt that little hurt that could have been easily fixed turns into like you know something bigger and bigger and then you have this like huge stone in your heart for towards this person and I feel like when I think about what you don't know can hurt you like it will because there's some times in friendships where if you're too afraid to talk to your friend about some real things or something you did that hurt you or something you did that you're like, okay, maybe can we try to skin or I didn't like what you did that time then there's, you know, you need to search some things within yourself and you need to, you know, evaluate that relationship and ask yourself, like, are we really friends? Because I don't see myself being mad at one of these girls and not talking to them and just keeping it to myself. Right. Yeah. That's weird because that's going to multiply because something else will happen because we're humans. Mm-hmm. We have faults, but we're so free and loving mm-hmm. that we can just talk about Put stuff without anyone table. even like getting hurt or saying, Dang, like she, because we know, like we're we're never going to say anything from a negative perspective. Meaning, like we're not gonna say something to hurt you. Like you did this, or you did this, or we'll right. say, like, I didn't appreciate when you did this, when this happened, or can mm-hmm. we try this next time? Like I didn't like this, you know. Right, right, right. Communicating. So when I think about that, like you can't have secrets with your best friend. Right. It's just not like you have to have a relationship where you can talk. Openly exactly. and freely and honestly, and not feel like it's like with your moms or your mm-hmm. dads or whatever. Like, you know, you're not gonna like not tell them what's going on in your like, you know, yeah, what's going on. To. You're stuck with them, you have to tell them, yeah. hey, like, I'm not, I don't appreciate this. Like, me and my mom, we had an argument this morning, <laughs> <laughs> and now we're good. <laughs> and I mean, yeah. like, because you don't want to hold grudges because exactly. that affects the relationship, you know. So, right. that's what I think about when I think about like secrets and what you don't know can hurt you. Talk about it. Be exactly. intentional with your talk. And don't come, like, you know, trying to attack someone. Like, right. talk in love. There's a way to talk to someone in love that they will listen to you. That's yeah. true. And I think it's like, it goes back to, like, I know that y'all won't judge me. Y'all know yeah. how crazy I am. <laughs> like, so you don't want to, if you have a friend that you feel like they'll judge you, I mean, I think you should distance yourself. You should be around friends that are only going to uplift you and give mm-hmm. you, like, really good advice and really truly I really know that y'all want the best for me mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. I know y'all do and so I'm like everybody doesn't want the best for you they yeah mm-hmm. that's like they right like false, like false advice even when they, they give you legs. they criticize you it's like constructive criticism like in the car yeah, yeah. on the way here <laughs> we had some oh, yeah. on she was like getting on me about <laughs> someone you know? she called me out of my mess and I was like okay like Maybe right. I should, but that's the kind of friendship you have. You you want to have where your friend can honestly call you out, but there was no like arguing or like I'm gonna punch you. Just kind of like she reminded me who I was. She was exactly. Like, her you word. Queen? Like exactly. do you know who you are? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> like do I know who I am? You know, and that's the kind of like 
criticism that you want. You don't want someone to be like, oh, like your hair was not cute and not tell you how to do it. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, right. Right. Yeah, they will tell me. I, uh, just recently, <laughs> I, oh, I ain't going to go there. But they, they don't, sometimes they don't got to tell you a crazy. They can just give you a look like, yeah, no, like, <laughs> that would be like, like, she tries to that's, that's not. <laughs> but people because some people let you well, go let out you, yeah. they will and, 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 and that's when you look at that girl and be like who are her friends <laughs> <laughs> walk out the house like that yeah yeah we're always <laughs> checking each other and oh, that's exactly. like perfect no secrets just honesty yeah, and love that can't hurt you no. but what you don't know people get crazy that hurts you that will <laughs> Things under the rug because oh, yeah. it would just build up. A pile so of just that. address it, be honest, and there you go. Right, and I think it's like everybody has their flaws. We all each have our flaws, and it's like just like in a like a relationship, relationship, you have to see what you can accept and what you can't accept, mm-hmm. um, and then just help them to be better. I feel like that's what even with, with my flaws, I feel like they accept it. Like I know how Tiffany is. Let, let's have her let her cool off. Like, they could see emotion on my face. They know if I'm feeling down. Like, I remember Jasmine just the other day was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm okay, but I wasn't. And, <laughs> and I was like, shit, what's wrong? <laughs> because I'm just thinking. I was like, okay, I know how she is when she's going to her thoughts. But, like I said, I come back, I'm popping again. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. Oh, my God. <laughs> You have to have people who actually, instead of being like, there's no chip tripping again, mm-hmm. stank ass. Like, <laughs> like, you know, like, you really want to do that, right? Like, you really, like, you know, you really want to make sure she's okay. <laughs> Anyways, so what, what you don't know can hurt you. It can. Alrighty. Okay, number six, law six. Did y'all have something to say about that? Mm-hmm. No, you covered everything. Yeah. Okay. The most valuable people in your life aren't always. Wait, I think I'm saying that wrong. I'm um, The most valuable people in your life are always the most visible, mm-hmm. and this is so true because I could say that from experience. We all went to different colleges, four different colleges. Mm-hmm. I was in D.C., San Marcos, San Antonio, I don't know why, Texas, Marshall, Texas, <laughs> and. and it's like when we, it, I was not trying to call y'all. Like, I was not even <laughs> trying to. Life. Life is just. Right, just, I would life. go like talk to them on Christmas, Thanksgiving. Right, <laughs> right just the holidays. Just the holidays. Like, like, life episodes would happen and we'll come back like, ooh, that happened? Right. Okay. Ooh, and like, just <laughs> Right. Exactly. But you get to talk afterwards. <laughs> but that's the yeah. thing is, you don't have to be all up under your friend, if they're truly your best friend or your friend friend, when y'all come back together, it's like nothing ever changed. It's something mm-hmm. you don't have to force. Real friendships, yeah. you don't have to force. And if you're feeling like you have to force it, just don't, let it be. Because the thing is, the reason why we're still friends is because we are on the same frequency. It's like we went to say, we both grind, we're both, we both are striving, we're, we're all striving for positivity, we're all working hard grinding and very spiritual and that's why we're constantly on the same frequency some people they're not they're not on this i don't want to say the same level but they're just mm-hmm. not on the same frequency as you yeah which causes them to fall off it doesn't mean that they're not your friends mm-hmm. it just means that i can't really roll with you if you're doing this or we're probably just not going to connect because we're just we, we like different things and that's okay mm-hmm. it's okay yeah. you don't have to force it it doesn't you know? make them a bad person just right. because they like different things. They're just not compatible with you, and people outgrow one another. Oh, that's yeah, that's, that's true. That's something that just happened just because you and your childhood friend always like to go to movies every Thursday. <laughs> Back when y'all was in high school, you got a whole family, kids, and X, Y, this mm-hmm. going on in your life now, so you can't do those same things, and if they can't grow with you and say, well, maybe we can watch TV shows and come together and talk about it on the phone now. I don't know. But right. it's just like you can always have to find a friendship that's willing to grow yeah. with you so that exactly. things can work. If you're constantly trying to tug and push and say this is how things used to be and ain't the right. way and you changed, people stay saying that you ain't the same. Right. Oh, yeah. no, oh, now you think you too, this, this, this. It's like, of course I've changed. I, I, hope, so. I hope so. I hope I changed. Yeah. Yeah. That was like first grade. I was 10. <laughs> I do not want to see you. <laughs> it's like, are you the same person that you were in the first grade? That's kind of scary. 
something wrong with you. Why are you on a first grade <laughs> mental level now? I'm gonna need you to grow. Right, yeah, yeah, definitely. And even like going back with growth, like friendship is growth. Like you can't have a friendship that's stagnant. Like you're gonna stink. Like stagnant <laughs> water. No, seriously. That's true. Stagnant water is Stinks and then mosquitoes come and they breed and they have nasty eggs and then <laughs> malaria and West Nile. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's what happened in relationships because I've seen both. Like, so I've had friends that you know expect us to still be the same. Right. Where like you know, I'm, they're like, oh, you're not the same anymore. You're grown. You're this. Like you're, and I'm like, yeah, of course I've grown. I'm about redefining beauty mm -hmm. and inspire fire and working out and getting healthy mm -hmm. and getting my master's degree or whatever. So of course I don't have time to be watching movies with you every single day. <laughs> right. Yeah. right. Not to be rude. It just there's just no time and what works in our relationship is that like you know even if we're not always together when we do come together we're grinding we're mm -hmm. either working out eating clean talking about healthy relationship talking about how to get your man like <laughs> <laughs> which is like, important like you know like like you know in a healthy All way like tips. you know healthy relationship tips like from you know yeah. our, our <laughs> that's important because like you know um, when you're trying to always even sometimes when you're constantly on top like you literally attached to each other every single step of the way that might be a bit weird because I think what works for us is that we have we spent as much as we spend time together we spend time apart right. to grow to learn and then when we come back it's like magic you know, magic. Um, like we literally, can't wait to tell each other gems. Right. Like, 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 <laughs> literally yeah. sprinkle gems, but like it's that, yeah. Like yeah. you don't have to be like, you know, and going back to the fact that I am <laughs> 180 miles away from them, like, you know, but we're still authentic. We're still together because it's real and we don't have to force it. We don't have to force like, oh, let's talk every single day. I don't need to know what you ate for breakfast. I mean, y'all do know. I've been talking y'all. <laughs> but Snapchat, you know, Snapchat, Instagram, like we do that, you know, but I'm talking about like, you know, people who are like, we have to do every single thing together. Otherwise, we're not best friend. That's a lie. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. I love my mom and she's my best friend, but I don't do everything with her. Right. You right. know, it just can't like, it doesn't work that way. Exactly. And, I, and I think people need to realize this. I was telling Jess, and I was like, we probably wouldn't be hanging out as much as we didn't have a business together. Not saying that she would still be my best friend. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like, we have a business together. And the things we talk about, like you said, is business. Mm -hmm. Business related. Yeah. And personal and, growth. A lot of it right. is really, which is basically our business. Right. <laughs> right. And when I'm talking to them, I mean, I just think that's what friends are for. When I'm talking to them, if I am calling them off the rip, it's not to gossip about someone. Never. We ain't talking to gossip even, about I know. <laughs> gossip about myself. Like, <laughs> right? Like, girl, this is what I did. Yeah. Right? Can we give right. advice? Right. Until right. like, we should not drop people leave you. Yeah. Right. And that's one thing. Talk about gossiping. Like, a lot of, you know, people that I've met or they've talked to me and they're like, oh, like, I see your friendships and you guys seem to be amazing. Like, how do I do this? And we start talking about what they and their friends do. It's typically gossiping. And the rule of thumb is, like, if someone's coming to you with a lot of juice, like tea. not the good juice, like tea or whatever, best believe they're coming to other people with juice about you. And that's right. why you're still stagnant. That's why that boy or whatever mm -hmm. is why like, you have that drama and drama going on. It's because like if you're around gossipers or people who just want to talk about everybody, then you're never going to grow because you're talking about everybody but yourself. And right. what we do in our relationship is we talk about each other. Right. Like we grow each other. We come and I tell her my business. Mm -hmm. I tell her my business. Tell her my business. Yeah. And I know it stays here. Right. And right. we go, okay, this is what she did. Okay, this is what we need to do next. Right. Exactly. Or this is what we need to address. We're not talking about, oh, look, Mary did this. Yeah. Or John did this. We're saying Deborah did this. Mm -hmm. Tiffany exactly. did this. Jasmine did it. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So that's right. something that's super important if right. you're going to be a healthy relationship. No gossiping. No gossiping. Right. This can't work. Like, gossiping is such a waste of time. It is. Like, like why are you talking about someone's whole, someone's whole life? Someone, <laughs> someone we could be working, grinding, could be accomplishing your dreams. But, like, that just goes back to, like, Y'all are really visible in my life because I work with y'all. Y'all are very positive. But, like, I think people will sometimes look at us like, oh, they have a sense of depression. Like, but we don't be calling each other every day. We talking right now because we're we really, doing a podcast. Yeah, <laughs> like, we really don't. Yeah, or <laughs> you're helping me out with a video. Like, it's just people you can really grow with. And rely on. Right, mm -hmm. rely on. Yeah. Not that, like, but I do love hanging out with you guys and mm -hmm. going places. Oh, yeah, no, we go on trips. Right, yeah. Like, we just came for a trip right now. <laughs> yes. We spent, like, right. three whole days together. It's <laughs> balance. It's a balance. It's, it's a balance. balance. Yeah. So you don't have to be with your best friend 24-7, but no. when you do call them, know that they will be there for you when yeah, right. you need them. Yeah.
Yeah. And I think about this too, the most valuable mm-hmm. people in your life aren't always the most visible. So I think about like the aunts, the uncles, you know, mm-hmm. the people that we don't talk to every day, yeah. but who do mean a lot to us. Oh, like the yeah. people, you know, the spiritual relationships that you have, right. the people yeah. who are praying for you. Mm, that's so true. it's much deeper than just your real friends. Right. Yeah. Like we can apply this to any relationship that you have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, that's good. That that's is good. people at the gym. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> that's so true. That's real. Okay. Know when and how to end an unhealthy I think we kind of talked about that earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do y'all want to elaborate on it? I just think like a lot of times we really get stuck because we are attached to friendships because we want things to go back to how they used to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but they can't. And it's okay to move on. Mm-hmm. It's okay to not even move on. Just live your life. <laughs> like mm-hmm. It's okay to just, if they need your help, you can help them out. If not, you can just keep living and learning. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think like, you know, friendship breakups are really hard. Like, you mm-hmm. know, as much as we're like, cut them off, like, you need to cut it. Yeah. Cut it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's hard because it's just like a breakup. Even a bit harder, I guess, harsher because that is your friend. Like, you do everything together. Like, you know, That's friendships true. are just so deep, you know. Mm-hmm. And I know in my relationship, in, like, you know, I have friendships where, you know, we either have to separate for a little bit to grow um, or we... Um, or we just never come back, or we separate and that's it. And I feel like one thing, like, you know, like, I, I believe in intuition, and that is the Holy Spirit. Like, he literally tells mm-hmm. you when something's going off. Like, I believe that God has every single thing, relationships, especially because he uses relationships to grow you. You know, like, and he has that in order. And there's going to be a time where, like, maybe you're friends with someone for a season. And, you know, the atmosphere changes, and things are not the same anymore. Like, you know, you're grinding differently. Like, you can't hang around the same people again. And he makes that, like, you start to feel that tug, you know, and it's mm-hmm. not even like, and there's a difference. I don't know if y'all have felt this. There's a difference between, like, I need to, like, pause this relationship and I need to end it. Like, you just know deep down, like, this relationship is not going where you need to go in the next, like, you know, the next season of your life. You know mm-hmm. you can't go there, you know, and it ends, you know. But one thing I'll say is, that, you know, always be vigilant, like, always assess your relationships and, like, ask yourself, okay, when was the last time, like, we, you know, we were like, when was the last time something positive happened from this relationship? Right. That's a big thing. Like, your friends, you know, I think Jasmine or one of y'all said this, like, you know, like, you have to be, like, you can't be leaving that wish, that conversation or to hang out or whatever feeling negative or feeling worse mm-hmm. than you felt. You have to Drain always it. leave better. You can't be draining. Like, you're not, a, like, no, you can't be feeling drained. You want to feel empowered. You want right. to feel enlightened. You want to feel like, I, yes, I can. And that's mm-hmm. what happens every single time, whether it's a right. phone call or a text or I just see them slaying life. I'm like, yes, like, <laughs> let me go do this. Like, you know, like, and we always do that. We're always like, you know, like as much mm-hmm. as we're always like super positive, like we do have our low times, like we're humans, like, you know, right. mm-hmm. but that's where our friendships come into place, you know, and if your friend is not doing that or you're not doing that for your friend, like it might be time for you to cut off that unhealthy relationship and that's you don't have to like, true. you know make a Facebook post about it and say yeah, right. me because I've seen some of those and that do not do that <laughs> you know or like put your business out there this person slept with my man do not oh, no. that's not something you want to put off no I've seen right. things that's just true. on Facebook For real. and it's Twitter awkward and the then worst. like when you get back together you're just kind of like you feel like uh, I, maybe I should unfriend this person because you don't want to be it's like uncomfortable you know like there's a way you can end a relationship in a healthy way like you know obviously like be prayerful about it you know um, be intentional like and if it's someone don't just dip someone at leave them tell them like you know sometimes you might just have to call them out on their mess and say listen this is your lifestyle and it's just not working for me and I love you but not enough for me to destroy my own future right. by being in this relationship and point blank period like you don't have to give an elaborate like saying or be emotional like you know just say what you need to say and if y'all need to cry it out of course then cry it out you know but you want to definitely face the person heads on you don't want to just dip but there's some relationship where it just naturally yeah, detaches yeah you know but when like you know but just Feel you know, be prayerful. God is telling you, yeah. like, mm-hmm. you know, how to go about the relationship. That's true. Yes, let it go. It's just really important who you surround yourself with because you could become that person. Yeah, <laughs> or have right. those types of tendencies. So if they're having, if they're unhealthy, if they're constantly being, bringing negativity, that is a huge sign that you just gotta really distance yourself. Yeah, huh? yeah you just gotta yeah. do it. Mm-hmm. And to look, elaborate a small quote on that: people don't do what you say. 
people do what you do. Yeah. So when a relationship is unhealthy, you can say, I'm going to be the best person in this relationship. I'm going to bring everything up. But if this person is constantly doing negative things every time y'all around, you're going to just naturally do those very same things. Mm -hmm. So right. you, so you, it's a very, very important the environment that you surround yourself around because you are going to become that environment. That's yeah. true. True. And like Deborah said, it's really not easy. And you have to know the signs too. You have to yeah. know if this person is being negative, if they're talking down, if they're bringing you down, or if they're constantly being manipulative. If you happen to save this person, like you're constantly having to come to their rescue, mm. you know, these are signs of toxic, unhealthy relationships. Right. That's true. Right. Sometimes you just have to love them from afar. Yeah. That's for a real. Yes. <laughs> you don't want to mess up yourself. You can't. No. You gotta love them for yourself. And you can't help some, like, you know, like, you can't, because sometimes some people don't want to leave the relationship because they're like, they need me. They need right, me. Right, but right. if they're not helping themselves to get out of the situation, they're pulling you down into, mm. like, just like swimming. Like, I went to my mm -hmm. conference, um, and, um, you know, and the lawyer was talking about, he said, um, sometimes, like, you know, like, you want to help your clients and you want to do all these things that you want to go in there. But think about, like, a lifeguard. Like, you know, like, if the person who's swimming or who's drowning, I mean, isn't putting their hand up you know when you go and reach them if anything like if they're if they're dragging you down or they're not putting their hand up mm -hmm. for help it might be time for you to leave them because what's going to happen you're going to go down that deep pro that you're not going to find them because they're gone mm -hmm. but you're down there now or if they pull you down you're stuck there you know you so know. at the end of the day like there's a reason why the pilot or not the, the attendants always say like you know don't um you know help yourself put your oxygen mm -hmm. mask on right. first before you help someone else because you can't like you can't help anyone if you're drowning. Mm -hmm. So it's the same mentality with friendships. Like sometimes it's just more important to just cut it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And to elaborate, just so people don't get it confused, because there are times in our friendships that we do feel down, and you will need that friendship to lift you up. But there's a difference between helping that person that wants to be helped mm -hmm. and just helping someone that's that's literally draining you. You can mm -hmm. clearly see. Six years down the line, they haven't changed a bit, and you've been giving your all and all to them. But if you find yourself giving to them, and you see them a week later, they are acting on. Oh, you remember this girl? You told me how to not do this anymore, and I need to start doing this. And they are acting on it. You like, okay, girl, you working? You putting in that work? You putting in the effort? So now you know. So, but if you see and you telling them you wrote them a whole manual how to be a better person, and they ain't even read the context, you might, you might need to cut them. You need to yeah. cut it. <laughs> oh, that's good. So, next one is um, know how to have a healthy relationship with unhealthy people. Mm -hmm. I think that goes with what Deborah was saying earlier, how she has many friends, but she have a tight circle. So she knows how to pretty much. How, how, you go ahead and. Basically. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, exactly. like basically, all I said is like, I, so I am friendly to a lot of people, and I do have friends, I do hang out with people. However, I'm very, very protective with one, my dreams. My dreams, I just, you can't just go out there mm -hmm. and just like give it to people. Mm -hmm. sure. So, like, usually my dreams are in a very tight circle with my family and my best friends. Like, and that's it. Like, I don't go out there and ask for different, 500 different opinions because well, there are dream killers out there. There are people mm -hmm. who are there and they see you grinding and they're like, why is she grinding so hard? And that happened to me. And I had to learn the hard way. I'm like, dang, like, maybe I don't have to share everything with people. Um, but I think it's just important, like, you know, even with, because unhealthy people need help too. Yeah. Like, you know, sick people need help, too. Like, you know, you can't say, oh, because you're sick, I'm not going to help you. They're the ones who need help the most. But, you know, it's that balance of making sure a majority of your time is spent with your, your golden life givers. With Ooh, your best you friends. Yes. Golden <laughs> life givers? I <laughs> Like, you all give me life. Like, all the time. Like, you display my life all the time. You know, like, you want to always be around that positive vibe. You know, and then when you hang out with some, you know, your other friends or the unhealthy relationships, like, you know when to leave it toxic. Like, you know, if my friend is, like, being, like, super down and I've tried my best to get them out of that low place and they're all they're doing is pulling me down, I cut it and I take a detox and I just, you know, I, I let them, you know, do what they need to do, but I, I protect myself. Or sometimes I pray before I go to a certain place and I ask God for guidance and Lord, do you want me to go here? Do you want me to do this? And there are several times when I've had to tell friends no. 
and it's been hard because I, I can't explain to them. I can't be like, oh, God told me not to. <laughs> but I also God don't want to. You know, but it's true because I'm like, right, it's just like it's a, I feel like it's really a, spirit, a spiritual thing. Like relationships oh, yeah. are very spiritual. So you have to oh, be yeah. very protective. So as far as like, you know, having, knowing how to deal with that, that healthy relationship with friends is boundaries. There's a book by Henry Cloud that every human being should read about boundaries because if you don't have boundaries, then you're doing everything wrong. You have to have boundaries. And with healthy boundaries come healthy relationships with unhealthy people because guess what? You're in your bubble, you're healthy, you're safe, you know, so you're not like, you know, deep, like, like you're not causing toxic to come upon you because you already set that boundary for, your, for yourself. So read the book. I can't, like, all I can tell you is it just makes you realize you just need boundaries. That's it. So, you know, like, like Tiffany was saying, you know, how the, when she's with a certain person, you know, she eats unhealthy. So, it's like, mm -hmm. you know, okay, I can't. I can't, um, yeah. Be around you or I can't go out to eat. Or do certain eat. things, yeah. Yeah, you just mm -hmm. have to just keep, you know, do certain things with certain people. Yeah. yeah. It's real. Yeah. And that's it. And I think it's just like I was saying earlier, loving from a distance. It's like, like, I have a friend It's like, I could tell that I was being so drained. And so I had to just let it, not let it go, because she will always be my, she or he will always be <laughs> my friend. But what I realized is, like, you have to have, like, let them heal themselves in a way. Because I was like, in the back of my head, I like, I know that he or she will come back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll come back, we come back better. So I can give yeah. you all the positivity and, you know, trickle that down. But it's, I'm not going to be, I can't be your anchor. I can't be God for you. I can't be. You know, I can't be that for you. So it's like, you know, do what you can. Keep your distance so you can have those boundaries. But, you know, one day, just have it back in your mind. Like, you know, I think that they're going to get better. They're going to come back. And, you know, maybe things could be better than they were before. Yeah. And there's something, um, there's a, a Heather Lindsay. I love her. She's amazing. Yeah, she's awesome. Heather yeah. Lindsay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She um, said something in one of her videos one time. Where she said, sometimes the best thing you can do for your friend is to pray for them and just let right. you know, step back. She said, step back and pray for them. And, you know, that's just like literally like because you can't fix them. There's some times mm -hmm. where you just like, if like we're not, we're, you know, like we yeah. don't have the power to do that. You know, right. and, and if someone does not, and I, I have to like emphasize on this, like if someone clearly does not want the help, there's nothing you can do physically that can help them. You have to work spiritually. You have mm -hmm. to start praying for them and interceding for them because... Yeah. You know, like that's all you can do, and you know sometimes that's the best thing to, you can do. Yeah, and their relationships, like you know, with one of my best friends, um, for a while we had to separate for a little bit, and mm -hmm. during that time, I just prayed for her, and now we're working a relationship back to where it, right. like you know, it's getting to a better place, and there's better mm -hmm. understanding, and she's healing, and you know, but if I hadn't stepped back, then we probably would be in a more toxic, it would have been in a toxic situation. It would have been very hostile. I think that, yeah. yeah. I think that space is really needed. It is. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, it makes you realize, um, especially if their other friend is, like, being super unhealthy, right. it makes them acknowledge, dang, like, I've lost everything. Right. Like, you know how when people hit rock bottom mm -hmm. maybe because of alcoholism or drug right. addictions or whatever it is, like, usually what gets them is when they realize everyone around them is gone and they're like, right. dang, like, okay. And sometimes Fine. you just have to hit rock bottom to learn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hard, but. That's yeah. true. It's, it's life. Sorry, I was, I was on. <laughs> Understand the process of great relationships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, like y'all were saying earlier, y'all saying it was a journey, and y'all were talking about like opening up more, like how you could be, how we could be very open about things. But it wasn't always like that. Like I said, I've been knowing Jasmine and Jasmine for forever, mm -hmm. and we weren't like best friends until the last year in college. <laughs> and like me and Deborah have grown like. You know, we all grow, and even, I haven't even revealed, like, until now, I feel like I know everything about me, but, like, <laughs> it wasn't even until, like, the past couple of years that I was able to talk to them about different things that I, I hold inside, or, mm -hmm. you know, I thought that maybe I'll be judged for it, but now I'm just, <laughs> like, but it does take time, like, you can't jump in, and you really have to, you have to, People have to, you have to trust people. You have to give yeah. their trust. Like, I know if I tell them, Bum, great, like, then we're not going to go over to other people. They're yeah. not going to go over and we're not going to judge you. And I don't think people should give their trust fully all, 
off oh, the rip. No, no definitely. It's just like in dating, like you never right. meet someone and just expect to like give them right. every, like you know, like right. your whole life. Like you know what I mean? You usually like take your step. You're like, I want to get to know you. I want to know your life. I want right. to meet your friends. You know, you assess them. So that's the same thing in relationships. And it can actually be very, very hurtful to both parties if you, especially the one who's giving the secrets or opening themselves up to a relationship that's not even like a real relationship. And that's why people get hurt. Like, mm-hmm. they'll give their whole secret to someone they barely even know. Right. And that person that they barely even know will hurt them or use mm-hmm. that information in like a, you know, malicious way. So um, definitely, like, take your time. Like, good things take time. Relationships, like love, food. It takes time, yeah, and you just true. have to, like, <laughs> like no, really, like, I would be scared if I put an apple in the soil and, like, you know, like, an apple seed or whatever, yeah, and, it, like, the tree doesn't even come up, it's just, like, an apple. I'll be like, uh, I'll be, this is real, it's an apple, right. but it didn't go through the process, so that's, yeah. there's something sketchy, you know, and process mm-hmm. is everything, like, because, you know, like, hmm. And to elaborate on that, like, everything is a process, and most, in, well, I see in some friendships that, the friend will put pressure on the friend like oh my gosh I can't believe you didn't tell me everything you're supposed to tell me everything we're supposed to be best friends right. and like put that pressure like you have to tell me now it's like if you're truly my best friend you'll wait till I'm comfortable enough mm-hmm. so that I can open up to you and like genuinely want to express what's going on I mean but if you reach that level it's not like the first time like girl tell me your whole life and I'm like damn I just pressure is ever in the car like but if you see like your best friend is like <laughs> is hurt yeah, and yeah. it's like girl I know something wrong with you tell me what's going yeah, on because that's you that's want to make it better yeah, but yeah, if yeah. it's like you you just saying it out of just because so you, you want to know or you yeah, just want to know yeah sometimes you just want to know I'm kind of nosy but <laughs> <laughs> I am but I'm nosy I'm nosy for people I love you know and there's that step like I'm not nosy the first time I meet you like once we get into that comfortable stage like you're just, you know, you get to be nosy. Like, of course I want to know your life because I want you to be slain. I don't want you to be like, you know what I mean? It's a different kind of, like, nosy. But right. for initially, like, you don't want to be best friends with someone too quick. You don't want to be quick to, and I know some people do, like, are best friends because they want to post pictures. That's kind of weird, but people do that. Like, have you ever heard about that? Like, best people, I don't know. Yeah, no, 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 people do. People literally just want that best friend pic. Oh, you know what? Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, they just want that social media best yeah. friend. Like, that's my girl. But in Never reality, that relationship is hasn't gone through the process there's no true bond like you know what i mean so definitely take your time right date your friends literally right date them processes are lit though like Mm -hmm. in everything Mm -hmm. you know finding your dream job or doing having a business building a relationship with your boo thing you know all that is dope like it takes time so just appreciate the process and don't force anything like this is supernatural like Mm -hmm. i was never like Y'all are gonna be my best friend. Hey, right. it actually yeah. happened. Like, no, so don't just live life. Be you. Go back to number one. Be who you are, and that's what you will attract. Right. Yeah. Exactly. For me, it makes me think about too how much we've grown, like where we started off, and you know, just how we were immature, and then how we also, <laughs> you know, we've grown into the, you know, beautiful women. Yeah. And, you know, the yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh. You know, being a part of the BAB and. Doing, you know, <laughs> To, now we don't even refer to each other as right, right. right. now it's right. queen right. you yeah, you yeah, goddess yeah, no. <laughs> you're right you're right that is so true though thanks that for bringing that really up cool to see the transformation yeah. <laughs> hey, we, we all transform like, well, I don't do that we over here hair looking like right <laughs> stuck to my face like, <laughs> broken off and stuff yeah. oh my god <laughs> starting from the bottom now we are here now we're yeah. here <laughs> and the last one or was it the last one yeah, I think it was the last one, number but, ten. Yeah, our relationship with God is the cure for love sickness. Yeah. Yeah. Who wants to take that? You know, God is just—I mean, He's the example for everything. You know, when we want to look for to know something, we can just look for it to Him. I mean, our friends can't fill a void that we may be having. Only He can fill whatever is missing in our lives. I mean, yeah. of course, we you know going to need help from our friends. Mm-hmm. And, Right for guidance or help, but he is like the ultimate person. Mm-hmm. Right. That's yeah. Good. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, like, some people I know a lot of people who's like, I don't have friends, or I don't have friends like you, or stuff like that. But I think that if you seek God first, He'll give you everything that you need, your, yeah. your yeah. wants, your desires. Mm-hmm. He'll be fulfilled. But seek, be yourself. Seek God first, and He'll let everything just pour into you naturally. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. If that's what you want, you know. I think about like yeah. a psalm that says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will grant you the desires of your heart. Right. And um, I think like, you know, God made us. Like there's a reason why he made us the way we are. And that void, like Kobe said, you can't fill it with anything. Like, there are times where I'm surrounded with, so I, I know I'm so loved. Like I know I have so many friends and I know I have people who just support me, you know, from all over. But there are times where I feel alone. Right. That deep, you know what I mean? Like that deep alone. And that can never be filled by anyone else besides God because he mm-hmm. created me and right. he created that hole or that hole is there because he's supposed to fill it and give me life, you know? Right. So I think like, you know, you can't look for a relationship to complete you, whether it's a friendship, never. a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a job or whatever. Like you should be complete on your own because God completes you. You know, once you look at things like, and I feel like the reason why I can have healthy relationships with my friends, you know, not be hurt about like, oh, you didn't invite me here, or you didn't do me this, or you didn't go here, or you did you know what I mean? Like, yeah. whatever, it's because, like, I don't expect anything from them. Literally, right. I have zero expectations. I love them for who they are because God is my everything. And right. when God becomes your everything, life just falls into place. There like, you know, no. there's no, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to, and a lot of times, like, what kills friendships is that, jealousy or that envy mm-hmm. or that like yeah. I want to be better than you right and I know like I'm not trying to be better than you I'm trying to be better than me yeah. like I just have one person and you know and that only happens when my relationship with God is right so when it with them what does it say understand um sorry this is very good <laughs> our relationship yeah. with God is a cure for love sickness mm-hmm. yes only God can fill that void so he should be your best friend and through building our relationship with him and from a personal point of view like I know like he gives you the grace and the ability to love hard with your friends and not have any expectations and follow all of these things, you know, um, that we just talked about, you know, because he's number one and everything is an umbrella. It really is. Yeah, I completely agree with that. And for me, I think it was just really achieving that agape love Mm -hmm. and the love for, that's the God love, the love for everything in existence. And when you can truly not judge someone because they don't think or believe or do what you do, Mm -hmm. if you see a homeless person in the street, you don't judge them for landing their own urine and spending their last money on a bottle of whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like you can truly still have love in your heart and compassion to give to them Mm -hmm. without feeling like you're above them or or they're beneath you. I feel like that's when I truly was able to just take, it literally took a huge weight off my shoulder instead of trying to make everybody be or think like I was or make everyone or make myself be or walk on eggshells around anyone when I finally get gained that love from God and for, and for myself I finally was able to just cherish every relationship without any judgment without any prejudice without it it was just genuine love I just poured love and God is love and so it, I found myself when I gave love that was just the true ultimate power of God that i would love to end it on god but <laughs> she said something that struck a chord when she said like there's no jealousy and all that stuff she's not trying to be better than me better than us and stuff like that but i remember telling um the jasmines <laughs> the jasmines but like there's these girls i looked up to hey brand hey shameless maya mm-hmm. sham booty and things of that nature and they're all they're all like these bloggers, they're getting money, they're all doing different things, they all have their own thing, but they all started from helping each other, they're like, started from the bottom, now they're here, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like, you can't be jealous or trying to prohibit your friends Mm -hmm. from doing something or worrying about they're going to be better than you or... Um, like you can't start a YouTube because I got YouTube. Mm-hmm. Like you can't. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> you can't be like that because these are the people who are gonna lift you up. They're gonna be the people who are gonna be your best advocates and gonna open up doors for you. Mm-hmm. So it's like, why would you ever try to hold people back that are around you? Because they're if you're you're gonna be around people who grinding. You're gonna be around people who are successful. Mm-hmm. You cannot prohibit your friends from reaching their their greatest potential because when you do that you're limiting your own self mm-hmm. so you have to pray that jealous spirit away you have to pray it away and really want the best the agape love for yeah. your friends because is that really a friendship if you're wishing bad on someone else mm-hmm. or if you don't want them to be the best they could possibly be yeah you have so you want to be like shame's my sham booty <laughs> hey great they all pop in doing exactly. they all in their own yeah. different in their way own. and that's something i love about us is we all like 
we just support each other. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Like, we're all a part of whatever. Like, I'm a part of Inspire Fire. They're a part of Redefining Beauty. Like, we're together. Like, at the end of the day, like, when I win, they win. When Tiff wins, we all win. When Jazz wins, (laughs) (laughs) when both Jazz wins, like, we all win. Like, (laughs) like, you know, that's something, like, that's super important in relationships. Like, you have to be about that person. There's no, I've never one day thought, like, Dang, they're doing better than I am. I have right. to do this. Different. I'm like, damn, like they can do that. I can do that too. Exactly. I'm like, and then people yeah. like, hey Tiff, how you do this? Like, I've never once right. like said like, hey Tiff, how do you do this? And she being like, we'll figure it out yourself. I had a friend who did that to me, and it was kind of awkward because I was like, you could just tell me. No, we like let's get this light and right, right, right? like she was, like. She'd be like, girl, let me record you. Girl, let's do Girl, let, right. let's snap you up real quick. Say you look good. Girl, let's do this. Like, you know, we're always, right. like, super duper duper about each other. And I think, like you said, that agape, that, that, that deep love that we have for each other is, like, what keeps us going. Like, you have to. Like, if you want a real friendship, like, a true deep connection, someone who's going to be in your life, about your life, you're going to grow with. You're going to reach, climb mountains, literally climb, yeah. climb rocks. Right, and, we be hiking. You know, whatever. We <laughs> hike and, you know, work out and all this stuff and you know like we remember like in the summer zone we'll just be working out like for no reason like not get going you know and that's the kind of people you want like people who want you to become the best version of yourself there's no competition there's never if i win we all win if they win we all like everybody's winning win win Cause we trying to help me get a big booty. Right, we trying to get a big booty. Right. I started losing weight yesterday. Right. Like, like, hey. It's just, it's just My like, squats right. Yeah. It's just like, and and no one's we're not perfect, and sometimes oh, no. you might have that jealous spirit, but it's okay. It's just like you want to keep returning back to like, these are my friends. Let me give this love and pray for yourself too. Like any hatred spirit you need to pray that away because you can so like really work on yourself and be the best for your friends give 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 positivity y'all yeah there's <laughs> enough but there's enough positivity to enough, go around to go around there's enough success there's enough abundance there's enough love y'all i love y'all i love y'all too <laughs> <laughs> i like, y'all give me life hey but that's it that's did anybody it. have any questions or y'all was just listening Let's see. <laughs> I know, like we drop in nuggets. Best friend is not a person; it is a. I think we went out for a few minutes. Somebody said something about sound. They yeah, our out. sound went out. Our sound went out. But I think it came back. I hope. Oh. Uh, but no, no yeah. questions today. So I want y'all to do something though. If y'all scroll down on our page, we are in competition to win a. Small business grant, and we need that here over here in Inspire Fire. So you can vote every single day until April 5th. So just yeah. click that link. It's going to say FedEx Small Business Grant. Click the link, put your email in, and do it every day until April 5th. Please and thank you. You have more than one email. You can yeah. Yeah. Email. triple it up. Yeah. Yeah. All your email. 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 I need emails your from like <laughs> your school email, your yes. mama email, your work email, email, your grandma's email. email. Tell your grandma to make a, uh, give your grandma a new email. <laughs> right. Make <laughs> like, her an email. email. Right. Is she so? She been sharing like crazy. Like, <laughs> girl, I don't want you. Like, girl, be texting everybody. Like, hey, can you? <laughs> yeah, don't forget her business. Right. So no, that's the point. So like, you know, look, I just so y'all know how we end this thing off. Oh, we yeah, have to have <laughs> affirmation time. Affirmation time. Uh, here's a spiel. I know y'all probably already know what affirmations are by now. But if you don't, and this is your first time tuning in, whatever you say after the word I am, you become. Even in the Bible, it says, let the weak say I am strong. Yeah. So even when you're feeling weak, you don't affirm, I'm weak, I'm tired, I'm nah, broke. Nah, 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 you are strong. You say, yeah. I'm strong, I'm rich, I'm wealthy, I'm healthy, I'm all this and, and more. Hey. <laughs> That's what you do. So, and then just start implementing your affirmations in your day-to-day life. Every morning when you wake up, when that full moon is all lit in the sky, when you want those powers to amplify on 10,000 million zillion, and before you go to sleep at night, you say these affirmations. Whatever you want to be in your life, speak that into existence. Mm-hmm. So we're going to have four affirmations because it's four of us. And anybody want to go first? We're going to say the word I am. I mean, the two words I am and then put blank at the end. And you do yours too. Yeah. I am blessed to have such beautiful friendships and relationships in my life. Yay. <laughs> 
I okay, I got one. I am adding value to all of my friends and loved ones' lives. Yes. Mm. Justice and equality. I am. Yes. I got the job. You got it. <laughs> it's, it's yours. yours. It's yours. Claim it. I'm going to go with I am love and everything I touch prospers. Good. I love Good. it. So, Nancy, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> affirmations below. Remember to like, comment, and share. And like this page. Why y'all playing? Like it right now. Do not be in these free gyms without a like. Alrighty. I'll talk to you later. Oh, we'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We love you. Peace.